What's up everybody, DJ Creations aka Decodepreneurs, your YouTube commentator, and uh, today I'm going to be doing Gaming Logic 101, and I'll be talking about Call of Duty Ghost Confusion. The only reason why I'm talking about this is because, well, I know we've seen a lot of trailers, a lot of gameplays, and this is the way before the ghost came out and we've seen all that stuff. But the thing is that, you know, when I saw the custom classes, you know, they kept the, the 10, the pick 10 of uh, your weapon and your perks and your attachments and all that stuff from Black Ops 2 and integrated to Ghost. So, when I saw the custom class, I thought you can use four attachments, but I guessed wrong. Um, it'll be cool to use four attachments because I assume that's going to happen for Ghost, but it didn't. Um, only the ones that you can have four attachments is from the sniper rifle, the, the VKS, and then you got the submachine gun, the K7, and lastly for the assault rifle is the hunting badger. And those are the only top three that already has a uh, attachment on there. And if you add the extra attachment from the perk, that's already another attachment. And then you got your two basic attachments that you can put any way you like to customize your weapon. So, I guess in my mind I got like, you know, false, uh, just, you know, False thoughts. I thought that would have been true, but it's not. Um, the only thing that will come to mind right now is whatever happened to the, you know, the ten custom classes. Uh, right now, I'm like freaking uh, third, fourth prestige right now, and I don't see anything. And I'm trying to search online. I know this is off topic, but you know, it's, it's just getting me to a sense like, when do you get it? But aside from all that, like, I just want to get this confusion out the way for those who, the, for those out there who doesn't really understand what's going on when it comes to ghosts and the attachments and stuff. Maybe this is just for me. I don't know. There's probably other people out there that, you know, can relate to, to what I say towards this video. I know that's short, but that being said, like this video, make your favorite, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video for another episode of Gaming Logic 101. Um, comment down below of what you guys think. If this is just like, you know, common sense, it's just basically just for me. Uh, I just want to share it to you guys out there. I was supposed to do this video for, I think, like, before this game came out, but a lot of stuff has been going on. So. <clears throat> See you guys later gamers, happy gaming, and I'm trying to get a lot of videos done and get out the way because like I said, school for me is next week on the 23rd, so I'm probably just going to be doing one or two videos a week, we'll see, and keep subscribing, I think I have over 27 subscribers right now, um, there's three more subscribers, I hope you guys can relate to this video, but like I said, I need three more subscribers in order to partner with YouTube, or partner with YouTube. Um, but the only problem with this, I've seen a lot of videos about, you know, that you have to partnerize, not just with the YouTube, but with all those uh, other uh, YouTubers out there that does, you know, video games and have the privilege to post up, uh, video game industry for from the video game industry is to post up their game that they made onto YouTube but I'm not saying just for yours because it's definitely made by them. So you get a uh, profit well YouTube takes money from you because you you're using their their product. Uh, if you're with Machinima or whatever, you know, those those popular uh, gaming out there, prioritize them, they get half of your money, you get whatever is left they give you. So yeah, it's a little bit tricky. Um, I, just, I guess for me it's like um, a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know, but I have two YouTube channels so I don't know how it's going to work, I get profit, 
from YouTube and then uh, a little bit of profit for the gaming thing. But we'll see what happens from there. Yep, see you guys later. I think I'll be doing one more video for Gaming Logic 101 and that will cover up for uh, everything that I need to do. I know there are other stuff for me um, that I should do. But other than that, I want your guys' opinion on what you guys think of what I should do next. Uh, as I said, I'll be taking weapon requests for Ghost. I'm not... This, this game, you know, it's, it just comes to a point where, you know, I'm just doing it for you guys. As for me, I'm just doing it because, you know, I need a new game to play, but it's just, I don't know, Ghost is maybe fading for me for Call of Duty franchise in general. Never know. And on top of that, there's going to be, of course, a new Call of Duty game every year that comes out. All you gamers out there are going to say, this, this next Call of Duty game will be better than the last one. I mean, you guys always say that every year, and some of the outcome will be bad, some of the outcome will be good. I don't know. But it's just like watching a movie. They, they post up the, the stuff that will make you want to watch or want to play something. And then once you play, it's like, what the hell is this? So, yeah. Uh, see you guys later. And comment down below. Happy gaming.